Hello everyone and welcome back to the Airstrike and Apex Legends podcast. Today we have an amazing guest that we're going to be talking Apex with. Today we have Core Carnage. How are you doing today, Mr. Carnage? Oh, I can't complain, man. The day's going great. About to get the stream started up and enjoying a little conversation with you and it's going to be a good morning. Yeah, I feel that. That is Super great, and I guess we'll just start out super simple here. What is your favorite map for this season on Apex Legends? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It's Kings Canyon, KC, mm -hmm. all the way. And the only reason why I say that is because I feel like World Edge is just, I mean, it's just too open. There's too mm -hmm. many variables for third parties, and the third party sweat on World Edge is real. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, 100. percent I, I feel that. I feel that. Uh, Kings Canyon, and I also believe is the smaller map, so. Games finish faster, I feel, on that map, too, so. I like King's Canyon. I, I kind of prefer World's Edge because I like sniping a bit more, but, you know, King's Canyon oh, is still... I feel that. I feel that. It still has a place in my heart, you know, so. Oh, yeah. Always the OG map. Gotta, <laughs> gotta love it. Yeah. Miss, miss dropping in the Skull Town now that it's gone, but... <laughs> oh, man, I can't leave Global Blue without man. I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I guess let's uh, move on. What is uh, your favorite weapon combo or weapon for this season, Apex? You know, I'm going to have to go with uh, like a R99 Prowler or mm -hmm. R99 Wing. And that's just because, I, I don't know, uh, I enjoy the 301 and I use it quite a bit with a 2 by. But yeah, the 99 has always been the gun that I that I go to to pick up or a Wingman or a Prowler or Select Fire. So yeah, I feel that. I mean, never go wrong killing people with that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the R three hundred one is more way more accurate, but like if you can hit your shots with the R nine, obviously it's gonna do more damage. And oh yeah, yeah you're ripping you're ripping armor and health really 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 fast if you can mm -hmm. hit your shots. Yeah, so you switched to PC earlier season four, I believe, end of season four, beginning of season four. Right? Yes. How how's that switch been for you? Uh, in the beginning when I was using controller, like it was tough because a lot of the other people using mouse and key were outplaying me just mm -hmm. with movement, you know? Yeah. And, uh, so when I, when I made the switch to mouse and key and I started, uh, learning mouse and key on Valorant and, uh, Warzone, it was, um, it was, it was different, you know, but I picked it up really fast probably within like a couple weeks i had my keybinds down and i was able to actually play and not look like a bot <laughs> but so far man it's it's going great i i find that there's a lot more benefits in mouse and key and, yeah. and it's it's been going amazing man i i thoroughly enjoy pc play well that's great to hear and uh you did switch to wraith main and wraith right yeah, I uh, I was a Jibby main with about 5,000, 4,000 kills on mm -hmm. Xbox, and then I switched to Wraith, and I played a, a little bit of Pathfinder, because that's who I learned to play with on uh, Xbox, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I just, Wraith was the smaller hitbox, and yeah. uh, the easiest to get my movement down, you know what I mean? Yeah, do you think, uh, do you think they over-nerfed Wraith with her uh, 1.2 second into the void oh, thing now man. oh man <laughs> okay so so i i have always enjoyed the you know race obviously the strongest player on anybody's team that's you mm -hmm. gotta have a wraith for ranked play it just is what it is but with the 1.25 second like activation to pull yourself from mm -hmm. a, a sticky situation that you're in just isn't ideal anymore you know what i mean yeah yeah. I feel I feel like the nerf, I mean, now the movement speed, amazing. I, I thoroughly enjoy that. I thoroughly enjoy being able, if I can get into my phase and I can, you know, actually queue up on it, I, I can get away. Yeah. But the 1.25 seconds is just a deal breaker. It really yeah. is. Yeah, I mean, I, I see Wraiths all the time try to go into the void and I'm like, oh, free kill. Because <laughs> they, they don't uh -huh. have a weapon, they can't do anything while they're doing it. No, uh, a whole second and a half, and that's more than enough time for somebody to put shots on you and mm -hmm. kill you. Especially at low HP, because that's most likely when you're going to be queuing. So what do you think they could do to maybe balance her out and not, not over buffer? Honestly, but... like, I mean, I don't want to over buffer, you know? Because, mm -hmm. like, back, back in Season 1 and Season 2 and, you know, all that good stuff, her her Q was just nuts. Yeah. I mean, you know, a quarter of a second and you're gone. <laughs> and 
I feel like if they were to knock the Q time down to like, I don't know, maybe a 0.75 or a, even a second, you know, just take, take like a quarter second off of that. Yeah. And I feel like you could balance her very, very well. But they're obviously probably not going to do that because of, I mean, I just look at it as the, the storyline. You know, they're always changing metas. Like right now, Caustic's the meta. Mm-hmm. You know, they're always trying to change the meta and make people go out of their comfort zone and play how they don't want to play, you know, which yeah. is good. Yeah, I feel that. So uh, next season, some of the stuff got announced and we do have confirmed that there will be a new SMG called the Volt. What are you looking to see from that? Uh, if I remember right from Titanfall, it's an energy SMG, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm I'm hoping that I'm hoping this this I'm I'm hoping it's a really good SMG. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping that it's it's powerful and uh, you know kind of a little bit better than the R99. Yeah. But I I saw something that. Uh, in the patch notes of, you know, like ciphers that, mm-hmm. that pull stuff from websites, and they said that there's a possibility of disrus- disruptor rounds coming back. Ooh. So I feel like it'll be a good even playing field with that gun coming into play because it's going yeah. to uh, it's, it's gonna change some people's minds, you know, because there's no – we don't have an energy SMG. Yeah. We only have assault rifles. Mm-hmm. And they kind of – no offense – respawn you kind of shit on all the all the <laughs> all of the energy uh weapons you know turbocharged havoc you know the yeah. Devo being a gold gun you can't really even pick them up and find ammo you know anymore mm-hmm. it's it's kind of rough out there in the energy life <laughs> yeah and i mean r9 seems almost like uncontested maybe prowler select can almost get there but r9 almost seems uncontested as the best SMG i see right a lot now. of people dealing a lot more damage on burst with the prowler surprisingly yeah. yeah that's true and i don't know why that is yeah i mean if if they're really close i mean it's just like you hit all five shots like automatically so yeah Hang on. i don't know I, I I would like to see it give R9 like a run for its money, be really good and definitely. I guess not, but guess not make it like super overpowered where it's like just killing everyone. But <laughs> what do you think about that turret? Looks very interesting. Uh, I'm I'm curious is the if it's going to be an ultimate or it's going to be something that you can just get at any point in time in the game. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I mean. It's it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be like the first like, I guess like, ability that like shoots back or does like yeah, kind of like a like a, a kill streak. Mm-hmm. I guess almost that's what it seems like to me. Is almost like a kill streak or or something of that nature. Mm-hmm. But if it's gonna if it's going to be a, like uh, you can find it on the ground type deal or you can mm-hmm. craft as many of them as you want or however it is going to be, I just hope that they limit it enough yeah. to where we don't have problems with it being set up on like say high ground in last circle. You know they yeah. got three of them up there and they're just sitting. You know yeah. that would be that would be absolutely horrible, but. Um, I guess we'll just have to uh, see what happens. It's coming up here, what, another 10, 10 days? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think, I really don't want them to make it like super broken either. That it's just like <laughs> one turret's yes, going <laughs> to destroy One turret just kills a whole team. Just, <laughs> just squad wipe in two seconds. It's just an annihilator of men. Yeah, that would be way, way, way too much. But like you said, I mean, Maybe based on kills you get a certain amount of them, or maybe if you... That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's an alternate for the new character. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm hoping you get maybe one or two of them and that only she can use it. Um, I'm hoping that it's that it's limited, but not too limited. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and usually when Legends comes out, they're pretty broken for like a week, and then... And then they get patched. Mm-hmm. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> usually. <laughs> Yeah, I guess uh, we'll move on here. Um, with the addition of Crypto here a few seasons ago, Watson really seems like she's being played a lot less. Do you think Respawn should give Watson a buff at all? So, with with Watson, she's still very usable. Mm-hmm. But, so the, the meta used to, I feel like it used to be, instead of a Caustic on your team, you would run a Gibraltar. Yeah. Right? 
now that that isn't the case so much anymore. So I feel like a lot of people are running caustic. So there's no need for Watson because Gibraltar's aren't running the game. Yeah. You know, and so, so with that being said, I feel like that they could give her a little bit of a buff. I don't feel like, because Caustic, uh, his his um, ultimate, I believe, uh, you can still throw it close to the team without the Watson alt shooting it down. Yeah. And I don't think that that's correct. I think they should buff the radius on the... Mm-hmm. Uh, on the what do you what do you call the it? Interception the pylon, I think. Yeah, yeah, interception pylon, uh, shield regen, whatever you would like to uh, name it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I feel like they need to buff that a little bit to where it shoots um, a little bit farther and takes out. You know, kind of gives you a little bit more of that defense so that mm-hmm. you see a lot more people using her because she's a great character. Yeah. You know, especially for late game, she's an amazing character. Especially her and Wraith paired up. Yeah. That's true. Just- that's a solid. That's a solid duo team right there. But uh, sorry, go ahead. yeah, Watson just needs. She needs something changed. Yeah. Do you think the nine the nerf to make her pylon only last ninety seconds was too far? Uh, yes, because I mean, if you look at the at the time of that it takes a ring to close, or the mm-hmm. time that it you know takes until the next rotation of the ring it's over a minute and a half. It's always yeah. going to be over a minute and a half. So you should at least be able to set your pylon and have it up unless somebody destroys it for the entire yeah. ring set that you're in. And that's that's what I think. Mm-hmm. I think they kind of went a little bit far and got a little nerf crazy. <laughs> and, and you know, they were like, we're going to change the whole meta. And that's fine, you know. But, yeah. like, I mean, you guys, I mean, you – you kind of dumped on path. They dumped on Pathfinder. <laughs> they dumped on Wraith and Watson. And I mean, it's just they they did a lot more nerfing. I feel like than than yeah. actual changes that needed to be changed. Yeah, I I feel that. I guess um, yeah. It's I I. What do you think would be a reasonable like number? Like two minutes, two and a half minutes. Yeah, I would say like probably you know have a pylon up if it lasts for two minutes. Mm-hmm. You know, two minutes and fifteen seconds, some somewhere around there. You know, around the two minute mark. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I guess uh, moving on here. Um, Respawn said they are probably never going to add a solo mode. Do you think that Apex should ever have a solo mode? I think there should always be a solo mode in every battle royale game. Mm-hmm. And I say that because there's people that get on that don't have people to play with, and there's people that get on that you know just want to play by themselves. Yeah, they don't want to have to rely on. And now, Apex Legends is a team-based game, so you know people that queue up and just do their own thing, and you know when you're running a three-man squad is kind yeah. of irritating. So I can see why people would want a solo mode. Now, as far as respawn saying that they're not going to make a solo mode, I think in 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 that like that that's their own that's their own decision, but it's mm-hmm. kind of a downfall, you know. Yeah. Because a lot of a lot of people want a solo mode. I know a lot of people. I I enjoyed the solo mode that yeah. they had way back when. I I played all, all of that for yeah. you know as long as they had it out. I was playing that mode. Yeah. But uh. That's that's pretty crazy to me that they denounce and say that they're never gonna have a solo mode. I mean, mm-hmm. Fortnite has solos, uh, Warzone has solos. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I know you're not trying to, you know, every game isn't trying to be like every other game, but mm-hmm. it just makes sense. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. So if if Wraith is you know walking around in like public, do you think she uses her void ability to just like avoid people she doesn't want to see, like ex boyfriends stuff like that? Yeah. You know? I would, <laughs> if if I if I was raised and I was walking around downtown and I seen somebody I didn't want to see, or even say I was in you know a bad position, say I was getting mugged or something, <laughs> yeah, I'd be out. I would. I'd fade right up, be out of there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd, that'd be awesome, amazing. <laughs> that'd, be, like, oh. that'd be crazy if if real life is like Apex Legends. You just had people walking around with abilities. <laughs> Yeah, imagine. Oh man. <laughs> Walking down the sidewalk. Face up. Go down the alley. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That'd be so great. Uh, okay, so um 
if a new so we have three consumables right now thermite grenade frag grenade and arc star thoughts came up about maybe a new consumable that would be like a throwing knife that would do maybe like 50 damage for a body shot or 75 for a head do you think this would be a good idea okay so a throwing knife um if i was going to put a throwing knife into the game Depending on how hard it is to hit people with them, mm-hmm. I don't feel like only a like a body or a headshot should even do. I, I feel like a body shot should do, you know, at least a whole shield. Mm-hmm. If you're if you're gonna have something, you know, of that, it's like it's like it just reminds me a lot of Warzone. Yeah. You know, a throwing knife has always been a one hit kill. It is what it is because they're hard to hit people with. Yeah. And so I feel like that's how it should be, but I know that that Apex, you know, they don't go with the the one hit kill stuff unless you're using crab. Yeah. But uh, uh, if they did enter, uh, you know, another consumable into the game, that would, that would be awesome. I would I would help pick it up and use it. Right now, I'm kind of stuck on Arc Stars because mm-hmm. they're so they're so good. Yeah. You know, or Thermites because they tick. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, a new consumable would be amazing. I would I would probably pick that up. Yeah, and I mean, like, we do, like, arc stars are super hard to hit, so I know what you're saying, so maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. more for... I mean, shots. an arc star, if you stick somebody with it, you hit for, what, like a 40 if you stick them, mm-hmm. and then afterwards, you're breaking armor and some health, you know what I mean? You're you're hitting for probably every bit of 150 and up. Mm-hmm. So, that I feel like if you're going to enter a throwing knife, it should be the, the same as an arc star, if not better. Yeah, I I totally feel that, but um, yeah, I mean, we haven't had a new consumable the whole game, so yeah, for maybe... a long, long time, I haven't seen anything put in there. Yeah, maybe maybe a new one would be good, but we haven't had anything announced. Maybe next season we'll get one. What do you think of those mobile respawn beacons they just put in? Ooh, yeah, those are very very interesting. I think um, I always forget to like carry one. I'm like, <laughs> I'm I'll not carry it, and like I'll just assume one of my teammates will be carrying it, and then we'll get in a sticky situation and not have one. But uh-huh. I think they're very interesting. I like the fact that um, I've actually killed someone with it um, in one of the really? final circles. <laughs> yeah, that's so messed up. That's not I right. Like, I was on the high ground from King's Canyon and dropped a mobile respawn beacon. The guy walked out of the house and got crushed by it. <laughs> I respawned somebody up in, um, uh, so you know, like, over by Harvester, they got mm-hmm. the, that high ground over by Sorting. Mm-hmm. I was, like, sitting on the edge of the cliff right there. I was yeah. Pathfinder, and I respawned somebody on a little pebble. <laughs> it, was, it was absolutely nuts. Yeah, I, I, I think they're really good. I mean, they're, they're really loud, so I think it is risk reward so yeah if, if there are see no- i feel like if you were carrying a mobile respawn beacon you should be able to pull it out and just boop, and it should pop up mm-hmm. but that's just me yeah yeah i don't know i mean i feel like it's it's good just because like if there is no mo- there is no respawn beacons left then like there is it's there for you even though it is super loud yeah but super clutch <laughs> <laughs> yeah very very super clutch okay um if, uh, you play Wraith a lot and know all about her. If Wraith was going to go to a fast food restaurant, what would her favorite fast food restaurant be? Oh, man. You know, I would probably have to say something like In-N-Out. Mm-hmm. In-N-Out burger? Yeah. I would have to, I would have to say like, like an In-N-Out or... Uh, Oh, what's that place? I I have eaten at one of them in my lifetime. It's like a strictly like frozen custards place. Mm. It's like frozen yogurt yeah. and frozen custards and it just any type of frozen food that you could possibly think that you could eat. Frozen mm-hmm. fruit. Yeah. yeah, I could probably see her eating there. <laughs> in and out burger because she's in and then out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back. In and then she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> okay well that is all we have for today if you guys would all do me a favor core carnage just stream on twitch on twitch.tv slash core carnage make sure to go give him a follow he does stream a lot of different games warzone apex any others 
Valorant, uh, play Hyperscape. I've gotten not too much on the Hyperscape, but I've been playing a little bit of the Hyperscape. Mm-hmm. Uh, haven't played Fortnite in a while, but I play that every every once in a blue moon. Yeah. Awesome. Well, make sure to go check him out. That is sadly all the time we have today here for the Airstrike Podcast. My name is Llama77, and a huge thanks to Core Carnage for letting us talk to him today. Uh, anything else you got to say, Mr. Carnage? No, uh, thank you guys for all the uh, love and support. If you go follow, I very much appreciate that. And uh, thank you for having me on here. I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay, everybody, make sure you keep dropping those airstrikes for everyone here and me. Have a good night.